In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can blur your zoom background just like I'm doing right here up next. Hey everyone, my name is Jeff and on this channel I do all sorts of tech tutorials just like this one as well as tech reviews. So please consider subscribing and I also want to let you guys know that this video is part of a zoom series of videos that I have done showing you all different types of tips and tricks as well as a beginner's guide to zoom. You can check all those out. Those will be linked down in the description below. But let's get to blurring your background because I know that's what you guys are interested in doing. Um, you have to make sure that you are running the latest version of zoom uh, so that you have all the latest updates and you have to make sure that your laptop or desktop computer meets the system requirements in order to be able to blur your background and I'll talk more about that at the end of this video. Um, now if you're trying to do this on a mobile device uh, the blurring feature is actually not available but stick around until the end of the video because I have got a trick that you can do to simulate a blurred background and I'll show you that at the end of this video as well. So in order to blur your background which what I would recommend you do is get into a zoom video chat and you can just go into your zoom profile and then start a brand new meeting. You don't have to have anybody in the meeting um, but when you're in the meeting you'll get a screen just like this because that's uh, I'm in a meeting right now and you'll see on your screen if you start mousing around on the bottom you have all these different options and where you see this stop video or this video icon there's this little arrow that points up and I'm going to click on that and choose uh, the choose virtual background and when I click on that that takes me into my settings and there I am this second feature right here is blur and when you turn that on that's what blurs this background if we turn that off you'll see everything that's behind me so maybe you've got a messy uh, room that you are in or maybe for privacy reasons you don't want to show things that are in your background you can easily just hit this blur function and that is going to blur everything out and take a second right now if this video is helping you out take a second and smash that like button as it helps out this video as well as this channel this is the same area where you can add in custom graphics or custom video backgrounds uh, by just clicking on them and then that changes your background um, and by the way I've done another video that goes more in depth on changing these backgrounds but it also shows my top three websites on where I love to get free uh, background videos as well as background images that will really turn your zoom video meetings up a notch and again that virtual background tutorial will be linked down in the description below as well as in the playlist that I'll link to at the end of this video so if you're not seeing this blur option in your zoom software chances are one your system either doesn't meet the requirements or two you haven't updated to the latest version of zoom so first off check that link uh, that I'll have down in the description to uh, make sure that you are running uh, or that your system meets those requirements for Zoom. And as we do in all the videos on this channel, we've hidden Tinker. He's our little hidden robot, and he's going to briefly pop up somewhere during this video. If you happen to spot him popping up somewhere, be sure to take note of the timestamp or the amount of time into this video that you spotted him popping up, and let me know that time down in the comments section below, along with your best comment. And if you are the first person in this video to spot Tinker, we will put your name on our Tinker Ford Hall of Fame page as well as give you a shout out in one of our future videos. So let's talk about making sure you are running the latest version of Zoom. So if you are in a meeting like I am, I'm on my Windows computer and when I look down at the bottom here in my taskbar I can see that uh, I've got my Zoom meeting window and then I've got my just Zoom app window. And if you're not seeing this window and it's not giving you that option, you can always end that meeting. And if it takes you back to your home screen, what you are looking for is in the upper right, you want to have the profile icon. Uh, and it has my picture because I've put it in there. And if I click on that, this is where it's going to reveal your account information. And about fourth from the bottom is this check for updates. And if you click on that, it's going to tell you whether you have an update available or not. I actually have an update that's available. So 
I'm running a version of Zoom that's uh, obviously been updated uh, to include that blur feature, but I haven't updated uh, to this latest update, so I will have to do that. It says here I'll have to do that when my meeting ends. But that is essentially how you're going to update your Zoom software. So once you have updated that, then you should uh, be able to try again to see if you have that blur feature. So the other thing I want to show you guys is how you can create a fake blurred background um, where you can use this blurred background on maybe a mobile device uh, that doesn't allow this blurring feature. It's actually pretty easy to do. I'm going to use a website which is called Canva. So you can just go to canva.com. Let's go there. So when we jump over to canva.com, uh, if you haven't used this before, it's a great design website for doing all sorts of different types of uh, presentations. Uh, you can even uh, create posters and things like that but today what we're gonna do is actually just create I'm gonna uh, you can go under templates and you can see different templates they have uh, we're gonna go under personal uh, so if we have personal right here one of the options is a desktop wallpaper and when you go into this now in order to save your design you're gonna have to uh, sign up for a free account um, and it's actually giving me a tour here. We're going to skip that. But essentially, if I log into my account, it takes two or three seconds just to create an account. You can go in and log in with whatever you need. Um, for what we're going to do for creating a custom blurred image is we're going to go to Uploads. And I went on my computer and I found a image that I liked. I just went to one of my folders here. We were recently at the Grand Canyon, which is awesome. And I just opened up one of these and I was able to just drag it right over and then it says drop to upload your file it uploaded it so with that uploaded picture I can now bring this right into uh, Canva and you notice I dragged it in and it was able to size it right to uh, the screen if I click on the image at the top I have all these different adjustment uh, filters and options I can click on adjust and you'll see about the fifth one down is this blur. From this point, you'll notice the Grand Canyon becomes blurry, and I can make it as blurred as I want. I can make it just slightly blurred. So you can do this with any picture that you want to use as a background. When I've got this to the uh, appropriate blurriness that I want, from this point, I can go to the top of the screen where it says download. And I would suggest that you download this as a JPEG. So we're going to go ahead and download this file. And I notice it's downloading and it pops up at the bottom of my screen here. And Canva wants you to pay for stuff. But I'm just using the free version and you can too to blur whatever images you want. And now I've got this downloaded blurred image. From this point, I just need to get this image to my tablet or my cell phone. I could email this picture. Um, there's many different ways that you could get it to your cell phone, but essentially uh, if you emailed it to yourself and then downloaded the image from your email on your cell phone, then you have that image to work with. So let's jump over to my uh, cell phone. So what I was able to do was email myself uh, a copy of the picture. So we're looking at the email on my phone and if I just tap on that image, what I can do then is view that image and then from this point tap the three dots in the upper right and I would go to save. Now I've already saved it to my phone but if you tap on save that's going to save this to the downloads folder. This is on my Google Pixel 3 phone and from this point the image is now on my phone so I'm going to switch back over to my Zoom app. So I'm now on my Zoom app and you'll see on the bottom of the screen I've got different options and I'm going to click on more. That was the three dots down there in the lower right. So click on more and that gives you all these different options and we are going to click on virtual background. So under virtual background uh, what you'll see is some of these icons with images that Zoom has already preloaded. Uh, if you keep scrolling over to the right, you'll see this plus icon, and that is how you can add your own image. And there we can see I'm in the downloads folder is the Grand Canyon blurred image. I can tap on that. And now that has added it to uh, my background, and it's 
your own custom blurred background. So that's how you can easily add a custom blurred background to either your cell phone or maybe your tablet, your mobile device to use it with Zoom. So I'm interested to know what do you use Zoom for? Is it for personal use, chatting with friends? Do you use it for school? Do you use it for work? Let me know that down in the comments section down below. And maybe you didn't know that you can record Zoom meetings. Maybe you want to turn those Zoom meetings into YouTube videos, or maybe you want to turn them into MP3 audio for like a podcast or something. I have done a video on that. That's also included in my tutorial videos. You can check that out. That'll be linked down in the description below. So once again, my name is Jeff. Hopefully you guys learned something about Zoom today in this video. As always, be sure to make everyday awesome, and I will see you in the next video.